Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to actually rig your model for a grill attack fan game. First thing you want to make sure is that your model is all into one little part. Like this whole thing can move like that. So now I'm going to do add armature single bone. And go down to viewport display and do click infra. Now in this little thing in the top right, you should have this. Go to Make sure you click on like whichever way it's facing. Go up here, top left, edit mode. And you can make sure you move, move this up here. Then you want to do is click E on your keyboard, shooting on another bone, place it to both shoulders. And now, just kind of click E again and kind of just line them up to where with the actual bones. You want to make sure that this little like circle is on the elbow. Same thing with the hand. Should be like on the uh, yeah, there. And then you make a neck, an actual head. Just something like that. Go to click Z at the top, Shift, then mouse wheel button. Like click that down. You could drag your mouse around to move around. You could scroll in with the mouse wheel. Take this. Um, click E again, around a little bit above middle. Keep clicking E, and you want to right at the base of the finger, one middle, or at the edge. So same thing for the finger. Uh, it should look something like this. I'm gonna click this one again. Bring it down to around where the thumb is. Same thing there, so it looks should look something like that. On the other side, uh, other side, then do the exact same thing. This is if you have an actual hand. Show what to do if you have spheres in a second. Jump towards the middle, up to the side. Same thing. Now it should look something like that. And if you have spheres for hands. So you use fuse. At the end of this bone, we're gonna just take one and just extrude it all the way out like that. So let's say if this wasn't here, all this other stuff, this would be the only other bone. So it'd be one, two, and three. Now what you're gonna do? It should look something like this, fully rigged. And you're not done yet. You're gonna go to object mode. Click on your model. Then shift click onto the armature and do control P with automatic weight. Set parent to with automatic weights. So now it should be able to move. Like that. And you're gonna, now you're gonna go back to edit mode. Click Z at the top. Over here. Click on this one. Like around where the elbow is, should be. The elbow. Drag this out. Click on it after you drag it out. Alt P, clear parent. And you want to drag it out to around here. Should look something like that. Now we'll go to the other side. Same thing. Drag it out. Alt P, clear parent. Should be around there. Now this should be the left side. So if you, if your head is facing this way, this should be the left side. Click F two. Name this L pull. Go to the other side. Click on this one. F2 R pull. So now you should be good with that. File export as an FBX. Name whatever you want. Just, I'm just gonna name it monkey. FBX. Now um, export it. Then we'll go to your um, Unity. If you have these enabled, I would recommend disabling them. Now right click on the project and put new asset and then double click your uh, like file name. I mean. Or it was hmm. So mine's not loading, so let me do something real quick. Instead of doing that, you could also do Save. 
or save as monkey. I'm gonna name monkey. I put a new asset. I have other stuff, so it's gonna look a little bit different, anyways. So I'm just gonna bring this in. Delete everything that's not the arm tree. Oh. That is my fault. So now. I'll rewire it. There. So now we have the armature in this thing. I think it's gonna shine here, which is cool. But now you wanna take the monkey. He had zero zero. Kinda rotate it if it's hold on. If it's off, you can kinda rotate it. So negative ninety degrees. I'm just gonna guess. Make sure that the head is enabled. So then you can kinda match it up with the head. So I'm probably do like two five maybe. Mm. Try to make it as close as to this side as possible, so that should be good enough. We should get a little bit, little bit forward. Oh. There. Make sure you click on the actual thing and not the cube, because the cube will not move. It's only if you click the actual pair. So once like this, we get rid of the head. Take this, drag it up into head. If you're not done yet, you want to open this, open up armature. I have this Alpo and Red Bull. Kind of go through them and figure out. So, this is the right arm. Here's the end where all the fingers are. I'm gonna click on the one that's holding all the fingers. And go to Discord server in uh, description and find this uh, channel called Fast IK Fabric and download that. Drag it into here. What you do is target. So, this says it's right hand. Target right there. And then the pole should be this. So this should be right pole. Let me just make sure. Yep, that's the right pole. Now you want to do the same thing on the other side. So this should be left side. Turn it in. Um, hold on. This should be target should be left hand. Pole should be left pole. So now so when I click play, say you have full time setup and everything, you guys don't know how to do that, I'm gonna make a tutorial on that. So now your thing should load, should look like this, that's perfect. I'll take a control, move around. And the um, elbow should never turn like inwards, it should always be facing out. And I'm just give it these spheres real quick. And you can move around. So there you go, it's all rigged up. It's one more thing I should add. Um, so player, go back to these bones and maybe turn the rotation, no, no. Okay, so on the Z corner, do negative 90, so the facing forward. And then, depends on which one you do. The right one should be negative 90 in the X, and the right one should just be 90. No, it should be both negative 90. So now it looks like that. Should both up. Should be good to go. And now your hands should be positioned correctly, so where they're both when you're in game, they'll be facing normally. How they should be. Yeah, let me give it a spheres again. There you go. This is how to rig your model for Gorilla Tag.